What's up guys, I'm Mike Knowles, my voice is still pretty gone from Let's Play Live, and could it be that the hacker just got hacked? As any Overwatch player knows, the last couple of months have been riddled with hints and clues on the identity of the long-awaited hacker, Sombra. From deep codes and ciphers both in the game and in official videos, to the hacked forum pages, the community has been through hell and high water to find the answer to who Sombra is. Well, it seems like a possible internal leak, if not a hack, may be spilling all the beans for us. The following image was allegedly leaked from an internal website at Blizzard that states Sombra quote, will be hacking her way into the build later tonight. According to Reddit, it appears that this information came from an Overwatch Facebook group based in Russia. So it looks like Clinton is the only person Russian hackers are targeting and we should be checking WikiLeaks out for more of those Overwatch sweet, sweet leaks in the coming days. But uh, back to the actual story. Because of these leaks, we get a better look at Sombra pictured here with the following pieces of what appear to be her bio stating, Sombra is one of the world's best and most notorious hackers. As a child, she lost everything during the Omnic Crisis. Blank with computers to survive. She worked with the Los Muertos gang in Mexico, executed increasingly more blank, blank, until she attracted too much unwanted attention and had to go underground. During that time, she upgraded blank, blank, and was recruited by the mysterious talent organization. While Sombra seems to content to work with blank. So it's very interesting to realize that she was working with the anti omnic Los Muertos gang that we know from the Soldier 76 animated short, and we finally have confirmation that she's working with Reaper and Widowmaker at Talon, as before we weren't sure if she was with Talon or Neutral, and just pretty sure she wasn't with Overwatch or reformed Overwatch. We can also see that Sombra appears to be sporting a submachine gun as her primary weapon, and we'll have to wait to see how this hacker will be playing into the overall gameplay design. In addition, this leak came with other information about content coming to Overwatch. It seemingly referred to a future special event game type for Halloween, much like the Lucio Ball for Summer Games, where you'll be defending a castle, possibly a uh, version of Eichenwald, from a mad scientist Junkrat and his Omnic Zombie minions. This is also backed up by a leak yet to be released Overwatch comic depicting Junkrat as a mad scientist, Mercy as a witch, Reaper in some sort of headless horseman outfit, and what could possibly be Roadhog dressed as Frankenstein's monster on the cover with other characters in costumes of their own within the comic. The Foley comic, we won't spoil here or show here, but if you want to see it, we have a link down below for those that are adventurous enough. Uh, sports the crew talking over Halloween stories at a Halloween party set many years ago. We've actually been privy to seeing this Halloween party, or a part of it, in the first Overwatch short recall, when Winston looks at his photos and you see a photo where you see Mercy in a witch's outfit and Torb in a Viking-esque outfit. So with seeing all these characters in unique skins, this hopefully will lead to actual skins in the game since it's a whole, you know, special game time, just like Lucio Ball and the Summer Games. But as a third confirmation source, over the weekend, players on Xbox, notice the Xbox Store accidentally pre-published the page to buy Halloween loot boxes that you can see in these pictures. So either one of three things happened this weekend. Either Blizzard is just ARGing us because they've yet to acknowledge this at all, and so it's like Sombra's leaking it herself. Uh, or someone actually wanted to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sombra and said, I'm a hack Blizzard, beep boop 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 beep. Uh, or Blizzard's just having a really bad weekend, in which case, sorry guys, sucks. Uh, but what do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section down below. As always guys, subscribe for more great daily content or check out our video, and we'll see you guys later. So all these people, whole line right here, in line for Comic-Con, my people, can't go. Couldn't get a badge. So sad. Tears.